Good afternoon and welcome to NDTV's YouTube channel. I'm Vishnu Shoma. Quick look now at some of the stories we are tracking today. Well, today is going to be a big day as far as political developments in Maharashtra are concerned. It's all in the process of being worked out between the Shiv Sena, the Congress and the NCP. Now, the name of the formation, now this is one name which is doing the rounds, is Maharashtra Vikas Aghadi or Maharashtra Development Front. Now, when I asked a Congress leader yesterday from Maharashtra whether this was indeed the name of the formation, he said, wait and watch. So whether it is the name or not, this is certainly the name which is doing the rounds. But as the three parties actually come together uh, to form a government and who would have thought a month back that there would ever be a formation like this, uh, it does appear that there could be differences right off the top. Now, the Shiv Sena is a staunch Hindutva party. Uh, they make no bones about it. That is their core ideology. And therefore, for them to have the word secular attached with a formation which could potentially be called the Maharashtra Vikas Akhadi is problematic. So then what does the Congress do, assuming the Congress is willing to accept this formula uh, by the Shiv Sena that that word, the word secular, is not used in the formation directly? Well, perhaps the, the, the Congress party would argue to ensure that there is a process of government formation, that they retain their core beliefs of which secularism is a principle, but they aren't too overt about mentioning it. Now, this was one of the suggestions which was indirectly suggested to NDTV on our program Left, Right and Center last night. But whether or not this becomes a stumbling block or not, we don't know. The other big issue uh, is the issue of chief ministership. There is no doubt that it's going to be uh, Udav Thakre as chief minister, assuming the formation does uh, get its act together, which it appears to have been doing. It appears to have figured out its common minimum program as well. But will it be Udav Thakre for a period of five years? Certainly, that's what the Shiv Sena would want. Or would it be two and a half years after which there would be an NCP chief minister who takes over? What's also interesting is uh, in terms of the, the performance of these three parties in the Maharashtra election, the assembly elections, they've all done more or less the same. I mean, they're certainly all in the same ballpark, uh, which is why they are, in, political analysts would say, um, being they would consider themselves to be equal to the other partners. Uh, and that's, that's important. Yes, there are differences in numbers, but ballpark, they would all, they've all done in the same league, uh, as it were. The Shiv Sena uh, is holding meetings with the Congress today. So if there was a, a slowdown in that process, as far as the Shiv Sena and the Congress is meeting, uh, were concerned earlier on, that's more or less been resolved. That is taking place today. Sharad Pawar also flew back from Mumbai to Delhi last evening. Uh, Aditya Udav Thakre and Aditya Thakre, his son, have met uh, the NCP chief. Uh, so uh, NDTV has also learned that the common agenda of the new alliance will stress on farmers and jobs and the Shiv Sena's subsidized food plan. Now, this works well, according to, to what uh, the, the Congress, which has always spoken about farmer distress, and particularly the NCP, which has also spoken about farmer distress, uh, distress have spoken about, have, have referred to. But another interesting piece that NDTV is, uh, has actually been tracking uh, very, very closely is if there is going to be uh, that big focus on farmers and waving off loans and food security and potentially job security, then where does the money come from? And sources have indicated that the bullet train project, which is a colossally expensive project, uh, something which the prime minister was personally very interested in getting into uh, of a bullet train uh, developed with Japanese financial assistance between Ahmedabad and Mumbai, then that could actually be uh, on uh, a slowdown. Now, why would that be on a slowdown? Because the Maharashtra government also has a certain vest, uh, vested interest, at least earlier it did, it had to pay a certain amount of money. Now, if the Maharashtra government, which would be approximately 5,000 crores of the total of 1.08 lakh crores, so that 5,000 crores uh, might in fact go towards the common minimum agenda, which focuses a great deal on food security. So there you have it, the interesting developments. And I think it's just a matter of time before a signed list of MLAs is sent across to the governor and president's rule is revoked in the state.